Hello everyone, welcome to Affiliate Journey video podcast and welcome to episode number two. And today's guest was Daxi Paris. He was my second interview I did on the podcast. Daxi was awesome. It was somewhat shorter interview, but it was pretty information packed. And I promise you, if you use like two or three things that Daxi uh, throw out as value, you will for sure see success in your business whatever it is that you're doing so uh, listen with great intent Daxi is amazing guy very successful online and I started implementing some things I took from our interview and I saw difference in my business immediately anyways I hope you're gonna enjoy the the video and the podcast Make sure you subscribe because I will release new episode every Friday. And I hope you're going to enjoy the interview. Goodbye. Hello, everyone, and welcome. You're listening to the Affiliate Journey with Miodrag Milenkovic. And I'm thrilled today to present you my guest, Daxi Perez. Hello, Daxi. How are hey, you man. Doing uh, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here, man. We, I was waiting for this for a little while <laughs> yeah i'm excited you got your podcast out now so i saw you post it in a few other groups which is cool yeah spencer was on and you are my second actually interview yay i love being like people's first you know popping their cherry it's been a few people where i was like their first or second so yeah it's always fun yeah you're our podcast guy to go to man anyway tell the listeners who don't know you like what is your background story and how did you came about in this online world and later in the podcast i guess yeah so uh, my story and uh everyone listening is affiliate marketers correct or mostly or just mostly. internet okay yeah so my story is i started out i dropped out of college and um i had to make money and the obvious way to do that was freelancing just selling stuff online taking courses and uh that started my whole journey of being like an entrepreneur, being a digital nomad, uh, learning from people who weren't in the education system and doing with like, just learning from people I want to be like. And that was a whole journey of me doing e-commerce and a bunch of other stuff. But I always had this skill um, when I was in school, which was uh, producing music. And that was one of the things I freelanced. I would be on Upwork, Fiverr, or whatever, and I would sell editing services. And, um, yeah, in my journey of being in Thailand and being a digital nomad, I met someone who had a big podcasting agency, started working for them, started learning behind the scenes. And then like, you know, long story short, I, I thought I could do better than them and the industry in general, as far as like what we offer people and uh, how to get people results. So I left, started my own agency about a year and a half ago. And it's been great. We work with a lot of uh, like, all of our clients are premium people. Like they're some of the best marketers in the world, like inner circle, Russell Brunson, the click funnels people. Um, and, uh, even now we're working with like influencers. Like I was just talking to one girl who had 4 million followers, you know? Um, and we specialize in helping people launch and, uh, doing their monthly production, uh, distribution. We call it a content machine. So they record the podcast and then all this other stuff happens like written content, video content, uh, audio content, obviously. And, uh, yeah, that's what, so right now I just run my agency. Um, and that's my, my whole focus. We've done digital products, but we're not focused on that right now. So, yeah. Nice. Now I noticed you immediately after college jumped to the freelancer. What made you go that round, the, uh, that route, the online round and not like, I don't know, seeking job elsewhere. Um, well, I mean, I always had a job, uh, like just making but it was always part-time and it's like dude i'm sure you're you've done it before you worked a job before like it's just you can't grow fast yeah. <laughs> it's like a lot of time or if certain jobs you need to like get in debt and get a degree to get a certain kind of job and it's like it's a stupid game and uh <laughs> i wanted to me I, I valued my freedom more than money like there was some months i was a freelancer i was making like no money like 500 to a thousand bucks but um, I was able to push through it because like to me going backward, getting another job would mean going backwards. So um, 
yeah, just limit expenses, moving with your parents, like whatever you have to do in the start. Like that's what I did. So. So for anyone who is starting out, would you recommend the podcast as a beginning platform? Say they're starting at affiliate marketing or should they find something what works for them? Like, so it depends your goals. Um, and I, I guess I got to explain like what the benefit is of podcasting and then, um, you know, who the perfect person is. So if you're not, if your goal is to make money quick, um, podcasting isn't the fastest route to get there. Um, obviously it's dependent on your business model and what industry you're in, et cetera. Um, but if there is a way to podcast, keep it low budget and use it as a vehicle. If you are a newbie to speak to the people who you want to learn things from, you know, like, because otherwise, like there's people you can interview who would charge like a thousand dollars an hour, but because you have a podcast, you get to speak to them. So people you want to be like, if you get them that platform, um, I don't know if it'll be like this forever where they always say yes, but right now it's, a, it's very easy to get some yeses. Yes. Um, use it as an asset to learn and to ask people questions about your current problems, you know? So if you're in affiliate marketing, figure out who are the affiliate marketers you want to be like, try to interview them and ask them questions that'll help them. Uh, but for you to benefit from it, you have to ask good questions that'll help you right now from your next problem, uh, whatever that is, you know? Uh, and yeah, it's, it's a, that, that alone is, is arbitrage. Um, and then I, I would, uh, how you position it. I would just read Russell Brunson's book, expert secrets. Yeah, um, as far it. as like, yeah, it's fucking great. But how to, how to build your attractive character and, uh, your show can evolve and actually start serving people rather than yourself. So, um, yeah, I, I would start a podcast if you're trying to make a lot of noise. So if you're already making a lot of money and you want to make more noise and make more collaborations, and actually like, you know, build a blue ocean, which means like, you know, for you to be a category king, someone who's like seen as different in your market, you have to have a lot of new ideas. And I feel podcasting is one of the best ways to share those new ideas and test, test new hooks, test new things, etc. Yeah. I like that, man. Now tell me, you have interviewed a lot of people and they're of course mostly successful online now what is the common thread you notice in like all of them like they're on different <laughs> industries and everything but what is the in your opinion common to their success um that's a great question i would say um they they have self-awareness so they know what they're good at and they know what they suck at um and they don't try to focus on what they suck at they either hire it or they just, feel, they just try to stay in their zone of genius. You know, if you try to, you know, we live in a country where, or it doesn't matter what country you live in, we live <laughs> in a world uh, where people always try to tell you, you need to learn this and you need to do this when rather you should kind of like look inside and figure out what am I already good at and how could I double and bet bigger on that? And like, just go focus on that. Like, don't focus on what we suck at. Like, no, <laughs> like, I, I hate that. Outsource like, that. <laughs> Yeah, outsource that or just don't focus on it and like don't make it part of your business in the start, whatever. Um, obviously, there's some things you might have to figure out a little bit to operate, like how to read and <laughs> like basic stuff. But <laughs> but yeah, that would I, I would say um, self awareness. And there was a, there was a, I think it was Alex Sharf and he said so someone I work with, Steve Larson, he was like, um, told him he had the cur the curse. Oh, let me turn that off. He told him he had the curse of competency. So it could be bad if you know too much of everything because then you're, you want to be control everything, you know, but if you're growing a business or if you're doing something like you can't physically do everything, you know, you need other I'm people to help you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it depends what business model you're doing. Affiliate marketing, you probably can do a lot <laughs> of the stuff uh, because it's not like a service type business, you know, yeah. uh, but it depends what, what your business is. You know, I know some affiliate marketers, like one who works for us, who's actually a client, this guy does like crazy money. Like he does like, I think he does 4 million a year or more and he has no team. Oh, wow. Yeah. All he has, he hires agencies. So if he wants to do a podcast, he hires people like us. If he wants to do YouTube, he hires an agency. So he's not like managing. He's okay. just hiring people to, to do things. So that's, that's smart. Actually. Yeah. I mean, got to make the money first yeah. and then, uh, <laughs> yeah, but he's, he's super smart. I, I don't want to name, I could name drop him Cristani. John Krasani, if you guys know him, um, he's pretty big in the space. So yeah. 
Now tell me, what did you implement that gave you the best results thus far on your own journey? What did I implement? Uh, in the results in what? What? Oh, dude, networking, 100%. Uh, yeah. yeah. And I would say, um, yeah, a lot of it's networking and just building relationships because, dude, like all of my business right now, all of it is word of mouth. Like, if we started doing, like, I know, like, I could hire someone right now to do acquisition for us and, like, do lead generation. We wouldn't be able to handle it because we have so much inflow of just word of mouth, just straight. Like, that's how I know we've hit a good, like, market and, like, message because, like, people are constantly asking us for help. Um, so, and it's all because relationships. Like, someone would, add, like, ask today, like, someone asked, like, oh, how, I want to watch a podcast, you know, uh, what should I do? Like, 20 people tag me, dude. Oh. because I made a relationship with all of them. I didn't ask them to tag me. Like, you know what I mean? So like, it's all just like, you know, it's a people game, you know? Uh, I see business as a people game because you grow by collaboration and, you know, targeting markets where like, that's what I did. Like the reason I'm selling really good to the ClickFunnels market is when I first started, I went after one of the top people in the market and I was like, Steve Larson, I got to work with you. I want to work with you because I could leverage him and that name, that relationship to be seen as an authority in that thing to that whole entire market, you know, um, because of one relationship, you know, Josh 40 was another one. So yeah, relationships, I would say is the biggest thing I've implemented and <laughs> like knowing how to actually like treat people good and like, you know, not talk bad about people because like, you know, I n shit spreads easily, yeah. you know, through the DMS, <laughs> you know, and it could be good or bad. Like there's so much good that spreads about me. Like they're like, yeah, everyone's tagging you in this group. And I'm like, I don't, like in the inner circle group, bro, like 15 people tag me. And, it, and there's only like 100 people in that group, dude. Everyone pays like 50,000 a year. Oh. Um, yeah, so like, that's crazy. Like I didn't know that was happening, but it's karma, you know? It's just relationships. Yeah, you get what you put out. Yes, so. And that's... if you were to start again, like what would you do different now? Your, your mistakes and everything like what would you um, focus more on or off, i would off? definitely focus less on the digital product side and more yeah. on this yeah i mean that that was cool at the start but uh it's two different value ladders and it's two different business models and you got to focus on something one thing until you get it until you're extremely happy with it before you move on to the other thing um also um I probably would have got started sooner. I would have bet on myself sooner. Um, obviously, like a lot of the reason you don't do that is because you you don't have the knowledge or you just don't invest in the right people to teach you the knowledge. Um, so, yeah, I would have bet on myself earlier, you know, and started my own business earlier. And, uh, yeah, that's what I would do different. Yeah. And how do you distinguish the right people? Because there is a lot of noise, especially in this world. Yeah. How do you um, listen to? That's, it has to be, just choose one. But it has to be someone that you want to be like. So, you know, and make sure it's like one or person or two people at a time. Like, I only listen to a few people at a time. Like, there's so many people out there I don't listen to. Uh, that's because, like, I, don't, I try to create more than I consume. Um, and, uh, yeah, it takes time. You have to like trust them and make sure that, uh, and luck, I guess. So yeah, I don't know how to answer that. I, it depends like what you do and, um, you know, just, just make sure you choose one person and you stick with them. So, yeah. Okay. So I guess the networking is what gave you the best results thus far. Oh, any, any fucking business, dude. Like. Even Russell Brunson said it. He's like, what grew ClickFunnels was the Dream 100. And if you guys don't know the Dream 100, the book by uh, Dana Derricks. Um, and uh, he grew because of the affiliates. What is, what is affiliates? It's, it's networking, you know, it's relationships. It's getting them to promote your stuff. Um, he had to convince a lot of the people to even use the platform and then promote it. Um, relationships. So yeah, he's, doing it, he's doing it like at scale too with his personal brand. So. Yeah, Russell is awesome, man. <laughs> Maybe I'll get him on podcast someday. Do you yeah, have you, him on you your can. list? You can, I, yeah, but like people like that, like it has to be the right timing. 
<laughs> you know, like I want to make sure things are, it's a really big production and like I can benefit from it. He could benefit from it. Um, you don't want to do things too soon when it comes to really big people, but uh, yeah, he's, he's awesome. Yeah, he is. You could get him on your show. You just got to pay him a lot of money. Oh. <laughs> I think, uh, I think, yeah. And I think that money goes to like charity or something. I forget. Oh, I didn't know that actually. Yeah. No. I don't know if he's doing that anymore, but. Okay. Before we wrap it up, because I want to be mindful of your time. Tell me what is the piece of advice you would give to like new people in this online world? Like maybe two things to focus on when they're starting out. Um, two things to focus on when you're starting out. Um, not even one, just two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's, it's a tough question because everyone's different. And what I tell one person to focus on probably wouldn't be the same for the next person. Um, just because of my, I've only experienced my life pretty much. Uh, I would say focus on, uh, what are you good at? What do you like doing? Um, and can it make you money? <laughs> as simple as that. Like, uh, not just like, don't just think about passion and don't just think about money. Try to think about both because like one of the first things I started was passion. Like it was a health project, but like, um, like a podcast and everything. Um, and I still love health, like as far as like, you know, superfoods and stuff like that. Uh, but the business models for you to make money in that industry weren't, I wasn't passionate about. I didn't want to do coaching like that. Um, I didn't want to start a supplement because supplements require a lot of capital to start. Um, so like it has to be passion plus, uh, the business model that you like, and then just figure those two things out. You know, there's a lot more steps here, but you told, you said two things. So yeah, that's still an awesome answer for two things, man. Okay, so tell the people where they can find you online and how you can help them. Yes, so on Instagram, I am Daxi. Hit me up there. I look at my DMs, follow me. Um, and then I have a podcast, Podcast Success Secrets. Um, I talk about how to get people, how to become the best at what you do and build a community that knows like, and trusts you. Because once you have that, once you have the relationships like I talked about, uh, you can do anything pretty much. So. Yeah, you have awesome group, Facebook group as well. Thank you, man. Yeah. <laughs> I have a I have a cool interview coming out tomorrow, by the way. Oh nice. Uh, with, with Cody Kearns, yeah. So Okay, everybody. Oh, yeah, my Facebook group is the same, guys, by the way. Podcast success. Yeah. Yeah, it's congruent. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. So make sure you follow Daxi on all the platforms. And I'll till until next time. Be legendary. Goodbye. Yeah, make sure you, you uh, give this guy a rating and review on iTunes. Don't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice.